Welcome sa sip9.com. In this video, tutuloy natin ang ating series on percent. And uh, sa video na to ay uh, uh, gagawin natin is to convert fraction to percent. No? So, let's have our first example. Convert 3 4 to percent. So, merong mga several uh, strategies dito. No? Depende sa given. So, ang pinaka-standard at pinaka-long cut nito siguro. Ito siguro yung pinaka-mahaba is to uh, divide 3 by 4, no? Kasi division yan, 3, 3 over 4 means 3 divided by 4. So, alam natin, this cannot be, we have to to uh, add the decimal point, no? And then, pwede natin i-divide yung 30 by 4, we have 7. We have 28. And then, 2. We bring down another 0. And then, we have 5. This is 20, and 20 minus 20 is 0. So, 0.75 pala ito yung percent nito, no? So, 3 fourth, 3 fourth is equal to 0 0.75. And from 0 0.75, ita times na natin sa 100, maging percent lang siya. So, pag, pag galing ka sa decimal to percent, pwede ka na mag times 100. So, 0 0.75 is equal to 75%. Okay? Okay, that's one way. Ang another way is, para 3 fourth, you want, uh, para siya maging percent, no? So, ang gagawin natin, ah, by the way, ito, dalawang step ito. Gawin muna siyang decimal, and then yung decimal gagawin mong percent, para mo convert sa percent. Ito naman, gagawin mo siyang over 100, no? over 100. Diba sabi natin, pag sinabi mong percent, dapat, pag sinabi mong n percent, ibig sabihin niyan is n over 100. Diba? Any number yan, 5 percent, it means 5 over 100. 6 percent means 6 over 100. So, pinabi, pag sinabi natin percent, kagaya dun sa unang video natin, napag-aralan na natin yan, nandun sa unang video sa panoorin nyo. Uh, ibig sabihin ng percent is per 100 or out of 100. So, 3 over 4 is how many by 100, no? So, ano nangyari dun sa 4 natin? Nag-25 tayo, di ba? So, pag nag-25 tayo, nag-times 25 tayo sa ilalim, magta-times 25 rin tayo sa taas. 75, per 75 over 100 or, again, 75%. No? So, equal sign. So, ang pinaka-strategy, ang pinakamadali is, yung denominator ba, magagawa mo siyang 100, no? So, pag multiples of something siya, uh, I mean, pag nag-multiply ka at magiging 100, mag-multiply mo rin yung numerator ng the same number, and then the result, the numerator is already the percent. Okay? So, number 2. 1 and 1 fourth. Percent 2. Oh, sorry. 1 and 1 fourth. This is fraction pala siya. So, right... Now, the problem is right 1 and 1 fourth as percent. So, right 1 and 1 fourth as percent. Okay, so, kung alam nyo yung 1 fourth, 0.25 yan, no? dapat mga 3 fourth, 1 fourth, 1 fifth. Medyo kabisado nyo niyan, no? But anyway, dito, pag hiwalayin muna natin yung 1, this is whole number kasi yung 1, di ba? Whole number siya. So, 1 point something yan, di ba? And 1 fourth, again, for the long cut, no? So, 1 divided by 4, cannot be. Magdadagdag ka ng uh, decimal point. So, magiging 10 siya, magiging 2. 2 times 4 is 8. And then, magiging 2. You add another 0. Get another 0. 20 divided by 4 is 5. So, point 0.25. Meaning, 1 and 1 fourth is 1 and 1 fourth. Yung 1 fourth is 0.25. Meron ka pang 1. So, ibig sabihin, 1 and 1 fourth is equal to 1.125. 1 and 1 fourth is equal to 1.125. Ah, 1.25. Yung 1 fourth itong 0.25 ka. So, may full number ka pa naman. So, 1.25. Okay? And again, percent pa nang hinahanap natin. So, times 100 lang. So, 125 
1.25 is pag minultiply natin ng 100 pwede natin na lagyan ng percent no so pag minultiply mo ng 100 you move the decimal point to the right twice kasi dalawa yung zero niya no so 125 percent and again ang another strategy dito is pwede ba nating yung one fourth pwede ba siyang maging 100 no yung denominator niya paano siya maging 100 you multiply by by uh, how many? 25. So you also multiply this by 25. You have 25 over 100. So 25 percent. Yung one fourth. Pero yung one kasi, pag whole number, ang percentage is 100. So 100 percent, that's 100. One and one fourth is equal to 100 percent plus 25 percent. And nandito, is equal to 125 percent okay so I think that's it for our uh... ah, by the way may isa pa no ang pinaka isang strategy bago tayo mag end pwede yung gawing ano yan pwede yung gawing uh... tawag dito um... improper fraction so magiging nawin na natin Ano siya maging improper fraction? 4 times 1 plus 1, di ba? So, 1 and 1 fourth. 1 and 1 fourth is the same as 5 over 4, di ba? Then, yung 5 over 4, gawin natin siyang, no, 100 divided by, uh, maging over 100 siya, di ba? So, anong gagawin mo para maging 100 to magta times? Lagi kang times or divide, no, para maging 100 divided by plus minus. Kaya na din is natin sa previous video. So, this is also 25. Whatever you do on the numerator, you also do. Whatever you do to the numerator, you also do to the denominator. Pareho lang gagawin mo sa kanila. So, mag equal to 125 over 100. Sabi natin, pag over 100, pwede natin siya represent as percent. So, this is 125%, which is the same as this one. Okay, so yung mga iba't mga strategies, no? Sa... Pero minsan, by the way, yung mahirap siya i-100, no? Kaya minsan, yung yung 4, yung mga 5, mandali siyang i-100. Pero yung mga 7, kung mare, 1 over 7, usually, hindi ka na maka mahirap ng i-100 yan, no? So, ang ang strategy na ito ay nag-work lang pag uh, divisible, yung 100 divisible by the the denominator. No? So, pag ganito, magmamanual ka talaga, talaga mag-divide ka, katulad ng ginawa natin dito. So, i-divide mo muna, then you you multiply by 100. Okay, so that's it for our conversion of uh, fraction to percent. Pwede kayong uh, bumisita sa ating website, sipnayan.com and of course, if you want to to subscribe to our channel, just click the subscribe button below the video. Maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial.